Hi, welcome to Connecting Classrooms TV series brought to you by the British Council. Our topic today is deep learning. The following are the learning objectives for this class. One, understanding the difference between deep and shallow learning. Two, understanding how deep learning works. Three, practical tips for deep learning in the classroom. Please participate actively and do all the tasks as required. All right, let's get started. Let's begin by looking at three questions that are very important. And I would like you to look at them from your own context as a teacher or an educator. And it's about deep learning. What you understand by deep learning? What might be the benefits of deep learning? Where have you seen it in action? I want you to take five minutes of your time, get out your pen and your paper, and just, just jot down what the answers are. And it doesn't have to be a perfect answer. It doesn't have to be right or wrong. Just write what comes to your mind. What do you think are the answers to the question? Let's take the questions again. What do you understand by deep learning? What might be the benefits of deep learning? Where have you seen it in action? Your responses could be single words or short phrases. The intention is that together we'll build up a shared picture of what we think we mean by deep learning. Now that we're done looking at the answers to those questions, let's look at a quote from Professor John Haiti. He says the biggest effects on student learning occur when teachers become learners of their own teaching and when students become their own teachers. Again, I want you to think about your practice. I want you to think about the six core skills that we're going to be looking at. I also want you to think about deep learning and how all of that relates to this quote. I'll take the quote again. It says the biggest effects on student learning occur when teachers become learners of their own teaching and when students become their own teachers. You have three minutes to think about this quote and then write down what you think it means to you. Finally, on deep learning, you will notice that this Bloom's taxonomy is sort of upside down, and there's a reason for that. But if you take a very close, close look at the bottom part, you find that the highest order thinking skills, which includes analyze, evaluate, and create, are deep on the ocean floor. And, and that is what gives our students the strength of mind to be able to do things that are not very common with other students who don't go through this process of deep learning. And so they're able to apply knowledge, they can analyze information, they can evaluate information, and also create information from what they have analyzed. But if you look at the topmost part, it has just two of the very low, low level skills, which includes remember, understand. And that's at the surface. You will agree with me when you look at how our exams are structured, our curriculum is structured, that students are forced to just try and remember things and regurgitate information, just put it in there and then pour it out, you know? And that's not the way they can learn. That's not how deep learning can occur in a classroom. But once you get students moving beyond remembering and understanding, then it becomes very easy very easy for them to you know analyze information evaluate information then create information or create things from the information they have so in conclusion with regards to deep learning deep learning is what sets us up to be lifelong learners it takes us from knowing and remembering to understanding and beyond it's about depth and richness in learning and it's also about making robust connections between old and new knowledge Hopefully, this has set the foundation for us to build on the six core skills as we go forward. Hope you found today's class useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class. Bye.